Hey everybody, in today's video we want to talk about reoccurring dates and reoccurring complicated dates such as uh, every other week uh, or several times in the same week but alternating every other week. The question is how do you do all of this and what happens if you want to make a calendar schedule in an outside application outside of Excel? Well, the answer is you can do it inside of Excel and then copy and paste or import this data into the other application. So let's get started. Today is the 22nd of October in 2020 as of the date of this recording. And if we look over here, we see we got Sunday, Monday, whatever through the end of the week. And we have a numerical representation of what that day of the week is. Now, that being disclaimed, this is Excel. Some applications use a zero, then they go to one, two, three, four, five, and they end on six because unfortunately zero is a number. And it's more used for programming than it is for plain English or folks that just, you know, use real software, we always count it. Uh, when I say real software, I mean, for those of us that are real folks, not programmers, just, you know, using it as real people is what I meant to say, not programmers. Uh, you know, we tend to think of things in, you know, zero is not a number that we count. We just always start with one. Anyway, so just keep that in mind. You may need to look at your documentation and the application that you're using. So if these uh, numbers don't work for you, then that's why. That might be something for you to look at. Anyway, uh, so the way that I got today's date is I used a function called today. And that's not as important as what I'm about to show you, but I just wanted to show you what it is there. Uh, what is there just in case you were curious and so today's Thursday and so the goal here is we want to create a schedule uh, every Thursday and Friday and we're gonna go every week right so that's the simplest thing to do so let's write another formula and as you know I'm all about showing you guys formula because well that's the value and what it is that I'm trying to show you here alright so equal sign we're gonna take column B row 2 and we're simply going to do plus one, which means plus one day. And that will bring me out to the 23rd for Friday. So let's do another column because this will help us out because I don't know the calendar in my brain and I can't figure it out, not least without looking at the calendar, but I can use some additional helper functions. And so the first one is week day. This will return a number one to seven, which is why I put that, uh, now you probably are understanding why I put that graphic over there. Um, and it's going to return a one to seven. And so what we're going to hope that we get for at least for today is the number five. So I'm going to tab this out. I'm going to put in B2 because that's where we're at. Okay. And basically what I'm saying is give me the number of the day for the date which is the today function and B2. All right, and as expected and as hoped, we got five, which is Thursday. Now, if I grab this little handle, and guys, be patient with me because grabbing this little handle for me is sometimes really difficult. <laughs> All right, so now I have six, which is Friday. So I'm happy. I know that I've got a Thursday and I know that I've got a Friday. Another thing that you might want to do, especially when you get to the point of doing every other week, there's another function that's out there. And it's called, uh, let's see here, week num, week num, that's it. This returns the number of the week in a given year. And so that's helpful. I always hit the enter key. I tell you guys to hit the tab key, and yet I still do what I tell you not to do. <laughs> so, oh, for crying out loud. All right, try this again. Equals. Week num, tab, thank you, <laughs> B2. And now I can hit enter. And we are in the 43rd week, and with any luck, I'll grab this little handle, and I'll pull it down. Okay, life is good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just grab this and drag it down to 10, and I've get 24, 25, 26, 27, as expected, because I'm adding one day to it and I just repeated the function. And so if I go down, you'll see this literally go through the days of the week. And as I go down, you'll see 43 change once I get to number one over here. Now I get to 44 because I'm in a new week. 
Okay, so all of this is working as expected. Let's get rid of this. Okay, now what we need to do is we're going to take this Thursday and this Friday, and we're going to add a week to it. So we're going to repeat that function, but instead of plus 1, we're going to do plus 7. So it's going to be B2 plus 7 equals. And with any luck, this number should be 5. Again, can't grab the handle. Give me some love here. All right, yep, we got a 5. And I'm going to grab the 43. Okay, that's good because it's the following week, just as we expected. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do equals, and we're going to grab this b3 and we're going to do plus 7 and this should now if we roll this down this should be the sixth day so good we know it's a friday and if we drag it down it should be in the same week good it's still 44. okay so now we've got alternating from week to week thursday and friday and now you may be wondering how do i replicate this out now going forward well here's the trick guys it's not only, you know, just like you drag a single cell, you can drag groups of cells. And that's exactly what we want to do here. And notice I'm grabbing the calculated or the formula group, which is taking the date with the formula. I'm not taking like a straight date. I'm not going to take these first two because the, this one is only adding a day to it, right? And so what I really need to do is grab the first full formula calculation like this one was just to kind of format it or get it going and then this is the first true calculation that takes it into the next week and so this is what's going to allow me when i grab grab it and drag it as a group it's going to allow me to alternate every other week so i'm going to pull this down to say 20. and if i pull this down i should go five six five six five six all the way down the line i'll just delete this one out and delete that and now when I drag my groupings, each five and six, so this should go to 45 and 46 and so on and so forth all the way on down. And it does. It goes from week to week to week consistently. So that's how you uh, go ahead and do this. Now, what happens if I wanted to do this biweekly? So that would be just adding 14 days as opposed to seven, right? So I'm, now I'm going out every other week. And so what happens, I go from four, week 43, I skip the week 44, and I go to 45. And again, if I grab this group and I drag it on down to 19, and I drag this down, I still should get a Thursday and Friday. So all we're looking for is 5656. Five, six. And the, again, the reason that I'm using this helper column is to just let me know that I'm in a Thursday and a Friday. And if you want to, you can create the key just like I did. That'll kind of help keep your, your, you know, your mind straight here. And these you don't have to drag um, per se by groups. You just grab them like you normally would grab them. And uh, actually, I think I misspoke here. I want to grab. Yes, I do. I want to grab by group. I lied. Something is terribly wrong. What is going on here? Oh, that's what's going on. Uh, I thought I did something uh, horribly wrong here. Anyway, um, I just realized that I've extended the week uh, into the next year. And I was just expecting to see two-digit numbers, and I kept getting single-digit numbers. I'm like, what's going on? But anyway, sorry about that, guys. Got spun around myself. But it is actually working as expected as, as it should. Okay, so we're in the first week, then we're in the third week. Then we're in the fifth week and the seventh. So as expected, it is doing exactly what it needs to do. So this is how you would create a schedule and move this into another piece of software. And this will allow you to go ahead and do lots of really cool things and schedule something out for a year. And uh, that'll, you know, I don't know what your use case may be, but in any event, I uh, do see this as something helpful that you guys could use, whether you stay natively in Excel or break it out into something like Airtable, ClickUp, Asana, whatever the case may be. Um, here's how you would go ahead and plan and map that out and save you guys, hopefully, a tremendous amount of time because I do know that some of you do this manually, and that is very laborious. You don't have to do that. All right, I'm almost at 10 minutes. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.